Now to some dramatic cell phone video. If you look closely, you'll see a yellow inflatable dock. But what you can't see is that there's a toddler inside and the wind is pushing him farther and farther away from shore. CBS 2's V. Wen is live at Washington Park Beach in Michigan City. And V, you talked to some good Samaritans who saved this young boy's life. Erica, they are husband and wife and did not want to go on camera, but the husband told me on the phone everything happened so quickly. They were out on their boat yesterday when they saw several people trying to get their attention to help the boy. A fun day at the beach turned into a close call for a boy sitting on this inflatable duck at Washington Park Beach. He was drifting farther and faster in the offshore wind. Dave Benjamin says his daughter recorded the video. I'm thinking, oh God, this looks really bad. Benjamin was with his family when he noticed the woman and her two boys on the inflatable duck. He says one child fell out and she was able to grab him, but when she turned back to grab the duck, it was gone. When she tried like running after it and then swimming after it, it just kept getting further and further away because there was a point where it's like at her fingertips. But then now it's like, you know, a foot away, two feet away. Benjamin says he started yelling and waving to get the attention of people on this boat. He ran to the lifeguard tower to let them know about the situation, then got back into the water. You can see him paddling to get to the boy. As I'm paddling out there, I can see that the child is, you know, pretty terrified, um, you know, kind of. You know, blown out crying, hanging onto this duck's head. By this point, you can see the boat getting closer to the boy, but the inflatable moves like a balloon in the wind. He eventually falls into the water. Luckily, those floaties stayed on, um, but he was kind of bobbing at the surface. Video shows a woman on the boat jumping into the water. She was able to grab the boy and hand him off to her husband, who told me the boy appeared to be okay. Now, the boy had on water wings, but the Coast Guard says that is not enough. We are told it is always best to wear a life jacket approved by the Coast Guard and be prepared for the weather and wind. Reporting live from Michigan City, V1 CBS 2 News.